Hello, mates. Today, we will create a health system and a related interface in its simplest form. We will create damage and health regeneration mechanics. We will prepare the health system as a component. In this way, you will be able to use the component on every character you add or on your AI characters. Let's get started without wasting time. Let's create an actor component. Let's give it a name and open it. We need a few variables here. The first one, minimum health. Type should be float. The second one is health, and the last one is maximum health. Now we need a function. Let's call it reduce health. In this function, we will reduce health. Let's create an input called amount. Let's take the variable health. We will subtract amount from the health variable, then set the health variable. The important point here is that we need to clamp the health variable with certain numbers. It should not fall to minus. The result of the subtraction must be bound to value. Let's assign the min and max values to the variables we created. Let's give default values for our variables. Maximum health should be 100. Minimum health should be zero and health value should be 100. Now let's duplicate the function and rename it increase health. Here, we will only replace subtraction with addition. Now let's go inside the character blueprint. Let's add the component we created here. Let's go to the event graph. Let's check if it works by debugging. I will use one and two keys. One key will reduce health, while two key will increase it. Let's take the component, call reduce health, and bind it to the one key. Amount 10. Call the variable health from component and bind it to print string. Let's do the same for increase health. Let's test it. Yes, we can increase and decrease our health. When it reaches zero, thanks to the clamp node, it does not fall to minus, nor does it go above 100. Now let's make a med kit to replenish health and an area to take damage. I prepared a simple model for the med kit. Let's create a blueprint actor and add the med kit Let's add a box collision. We will also need a player reference.
While the box is selected, select On Component. Begin Overlap from the right panel. Then, connect it to the Do Once node. Let's call BPC Health System from Player Ref and access the Increase Health function from here. Let's create a variable. Let's call it Increase Health Amount Let's bind it to the amount in the Increase Health function and make it Instance Editable. We will need to access it from outside. We will get the health variable from Component and print the change on the screen with Print String. Also, since we are using MedKit, we need to destroy it. But we need to add the MedKit to the scene. Now we forgot to set the increase health amount. Ninety, eighty, seventy. Let's take the med kit, eighty-five. Now let's create an area where we can take damage. Actually, we will do the same here, but instead of increase, we will use the reduce health function. I'm going to use fire as the damage dealer here. I'm adding a particle system into the blueprint. I'm selecting fire from the starter content. We won't use do once because I want the fire to damage us every time we pass over it. Again, we will print the health variable to the screen every time it decreases. We need to go back to MedKit and make a control. I just thought of it. If our health is 100, we can't use MedKit. So if our current health is less than the maximum health, we can use MedKit.
It didn't work. I wonder why. Ah, uh, yes, I've found it. We need to move the do once node after the branch. Actually, we don't need the do once node at all. We are already doing a control and destroying the actor. Now, let's add a simple injury sound. Now we come to the UI part. Let's make a life bar together. Let's create a widget blueprint. Let's call it WB underscore health bar. Let's create a canvas panel. Let's place a progress bar inside. I prepared a simple visual for the progress bar. I import them. We need to make a few settings to define it as a UI visual. We define the image we imported as a progress bar image in the widget. The image in the background image and fill image sections will be the image we imported. Below, we make the fill color and opacity value in the appearance section red. When we change the percentage value in the progress section, you can see that the progress bar changes. We press the bind button right next to it and select create binding. We need a variable. Let its name be player ref and its type will be the object reference of our character. It should be instance editable and expose on spawn. Let's get it and reach the VPC health system. From here, let's access the health and maximum health variables. Since the percent value is between zero and one, we will divide the health value by the maximum health value. Let's connect the result to return value. Let's go to character blueprint. Let's say create widget in the event begin play node. Let's add the health bar widget we created as a widget. Let's add the self node to the player ref slot and let's give it to the screen with add to viewport. Now let's make an effect appear on the screen when we take damage. I prepared a visual for this. Let's open the widget blueprint. We will create an animation here. In this one second animation, the image will appear and disappear. 
Let's add an image under the canvas panel. Let's assign the image we imported from the brush tab on the right. Let's set the alpha value of the image's color and opacity property to zero. Let's open the animations tab at the bottom. Let's press plus animation. Let's name it damage screen. Let's press add and add our image to the timeline. Press the plus icon to the right of the image and select color and opacity. The first frame will remain zero. Let's go to 0 0.5 seconds. Make the alpha value one and in the first second, let the alpha value be zero again. Now let's go to the Reduce Health function in the Health System component. From here, we need to access the animation in the widget. After setting the health value, let's connect the Get All widgets of Class Node. Select the Health Bar widget, call the Get a Copy Node from Found Widgets, and select the Damage Screen animation from there. Let's connect it to the Play Animation node. Yes, we need to connect the target from the Git node. Let's test it. If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.